right me and welcome back to my channel or if you are brand new then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell so you will be notified every single time that I upload I upload every single week numerous times a week every single week now today's video just making sure something's always going on with my light but sorry <laughs> that was kind of gross but whatever um today's video okay this is getting serious, this is getting deep. Well, I don't know, maybe it's not. One of the main DMs that I get or video links that are sent to me or TikToks that are sent to me are about mirrors and mirror rituals and mirror gazing and always just my opinion, even though I've been very vocal about mirrors, my opinion about mirrors and my reflection to be specific. Um, I don't know what it is about my reflection you know and I think when it's just kind of like funny to me I mean I know you guys call my reflection Veronica well I do too that's her name that's what I named her based on that Veronica ritual that I did with um, my reflection it was a whole mirror ritual which was really really creepy so that's kind of how Veronica took off <laughs> I don't even know what this video is gonna be called but this is something that is always talked about among my viewers and what you guys are always messaging me about and a lot of you send me really creepy stories personal stories of yourself and yourself looking in the mirror and what you experience and how you get that really dark uncomfortable feeling by looking at yourself in the mirror and it's just it's very it's a very interesting topic to me it's one of my favorite topics even though it creeps me out but I live at the same time I'm very weird when you look into your eyes in your reflection you go right up to the mirror and stare and you do this for you know a few minutes or you want to turn off the lights and have a candle or whatever you start feeling as if that person looking at you even though they are you they look identical to you but you start having this like separation and you feel as if that person or that thing or whatever that is is not really you and it's looking at you and you know there's a lot of people who say that they notice when they are doing something in front of their mirror and their mirror the reflection is like a split second off when they're doing something I mean I kind of I don't really because I do weird stuff all the time in front of my mirror. Like I'll move really fast. I'll, I'll start dancing and everything and seeing if it's acting weird or if I, you know, turn my back to the mirror. And a lot of people say do not turn your back to your reflection. But I think one of the creepiest things that I've ever heard of is um, if you are looking at your reflection and you notice that it's like a split second off or you notice that your face is morphing or you get that intuitive feeling like there's something really off about this this isn't me this doesn't seem like me there's something weird with my reflection then your reflection if it's true can pick that up and it knows what you're thinking because it actually is you but like in another on the other side am i losing you guys i hope that you understand what i'm saying but i think that is one of the creepiest things and they say that if you get that feeling and you know that your reflection can feel that and know what you're thinking then don't acknowledge that don't act as if you know that they know you know what i mean that is one of the creepiest things i've ever heard and that is like my biggest fear right there my biggest fear besides dying and throwing up is that my reflection is going to like come out and take over my life and I'm going to be the one that's trapped in the mirror. Do I believe that there is a mirror world and do I believe that mirrors are portals? I definitely believe that mirrors are portals. Definitely. I came across some ways that you can test this out and this one, I don't know, I actually haven't done this, but if you're in front of your reflection, place your hand on the mirror and just hold it there for as long as you want. And if you start to feel, they say you will know the feeling. So it's as if the person on the other side of the mirror, you know, obviously they're touching you because you can see your reflection lining up to you and touching you, but you will know when you have that feeling. And that is just, <laughs> maybe I should do that on camera because I haven't done that. But if you 
place your hand on the mirror. Sometimes it can, you know, take a moment, maybe it'll take like five, 10 minutes, but really concentrate and see what you feel on your hand. Do you feel as if somebody is touching your hand on the other side of the mirror? And I think that is like the creepiest thing ever. But try it out and let me know down below what you experienced. If you start acknowledging, like giving hints almost without even saying it to your reflection that you're on to them. So if you, or you know, obviously you're doing these experiments because you are curious and you're suspicious about what is going on behind that mirror. But they say your reflection will know if you're on to them. <laughs> it just, it freaks me out. So that's when you gotta be careful because they will start to know if, like, if this is actually true that you were on to them and you're trying to catch them in the act. And if you, if they know that you're on to them, like they can turn on you, which gets into my fears, how they can turn on you and how, I don't know, they'll suck me into the mirror and like replace me, I don't know. Stuff like that freaks me out. But if this is true, if your reflection really isn't you, is it good or is it bad? And then I start thinking, okay, well, I mean, I've been on this planet, I've been alive for a long time. And I've, you know, we look in the mirror every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. What does Paris Hilton say? Never pass a mirror without looking at it, looking into it. <laughs> Clearly I've made so many videos about this and I've talked about this very openly. So why, obviously my reflection would know that I'm onto it. So why hasn't it attacked? But then there's this other theory which makes your reflection seem good because I think a lot of us think it's bad, it's evil, it's just something you don't want to mess with. But what if your reflection is trying to protect you? They want to keep, they want you to stay on your side of the mirror. They don't want you to come through and that is the reason why you can't come through because they're in the way. So that kind of, you know is a good theory, makes them seem like they got your back and they don't want anything bad to happen to you. But then why not? Why wouldn't they want you to come through? Like, why are they standing in the way? Why can't they just move and just be like, hey, I know I'm your reflection, but I'll move out of the way so you can come through and see what's going on back here. Like, if I was somebody's reflection, oh my god, that freaks me out. Imagine, <laughs> imagine from their point of view, we, like you are their reflection. So Veronica on her side of the mirror, she sees me and she like named me Brittany or something. And she has a YouTube channel on the opposite side of like in her world. And she talks about how freaked out she is by me. Oh my God. <laughs> and I would be a scary reflection because I'm always trying to catch my reflection in the act. And if she sees that, she probably thinks I'm <laughs> She's probably so freaked out by me. I would be a terrifying reflection, but I'm, I'm the good side. Veronica is the bad side, but she probably tells her viewers that I'm the bad side and she's the good side. Her fear is probably, oh my God, I don't want my reflection Brittany to take over my channel. Bitch, I'm afraid you're gonna take over my channel and take over my life. So um, that's an interesting way to look at it too. Are you copying your reflection or is your reflection copying you? Are you your reflection? What if your reflection resents you? It's copying your every move, or you're copying its every move, but say it's copying your every move and it's sick of you, like it's tired of you, can't stand you. So imagine, you know, every day you're trying to catch your reflection in the act. You look at yourself in the mirror, you try to do all these weird things, but imagine one day you walk, and I read this online, so I'm repeating it because this freaked me out. But imagine one day you walked into your bathroom or whatever, you had a pair of scissors with you and you're just holding them. I don't know, maybe you're gonna cut your hair, give yourself some bangs or something like that. But instead of you doing that, your reflection takes over and like <laughs> stabs you to death with those scissors. That is one of the creepiest things I've ever heard. What if your reflection resents you? So, okay, when you look into your eyes, into your reflection's eyes and you get close to the mirror, it, like, I just get the creepiest vibes and I feel you see 
the soul in your eyes you know what i mean you see that soul but it's not my soul <laughs> Like, that's how I feel, but I don't know if I'm just freaking myself out, like you guys know. Like, I screamed in my Veronica ritual. I screamed. That's how freaked out I got. Now, getting into another theory known as mere people, which kind of is what I've been saying this whole time, but it's, you know, your reflection is so obsessed with you. They copy everything you do. They know everything about you, and they want to be you. They are waiting for that moment to be able to switch places with you, which is my biggest fear. Now, my reflection has to know that's my biggest fear. So if they're going to attack, maybe they're trying to find the right moment to do it. I swear to God. I think one of the creepiest things I've read, I feel like I've been saying that for like every part of this video, but you know, when you're taking a hot shower and like, you know, your, your mirror fogs up People say it's fogging up for a reason because that's when your reflection is trying to escape to come into the physical world and maybe you hear something outside of your door in the hallway or something and then you get distracted and you look out and then you look back into the mirror. So when you're unfogging the mirror and then nobody is there, you don't see yourself. And that was your reflection's way of coming into your physical world. That is like the creepiest thing I've ever read. I don't think it's ever happened to anybody, but it's a scary, a scary theory. I think people are gonna think I'm crazy after this, but I think everybody thinks I'm crazy, which I am and I live, like I love it, but I don't know. I wanted to make this video because I'm constantly getting asked about that and like reflections and you know, what I think in portals and everything. And I hear your stories or I read your stories through um, DMs about your own personal experiences. And I just find it very fascinating that we all kind of relate with this. And I never knew that everyone felt this way. I always kind of felt like it was just me and I'm just kind of crazy. Maybe there's a few people out there, but no, it's a lot of us think this. And a lot of people are terrified by mirrors. Like they don't even wanna, they don't wanna look at themselves at all. And you know, there's people who swear that they will never have a mirror facing their bed when they're sleeping. They'll never have mirrors in their bedroom. And it's so weird because, you know, I have a mirror in my bedroom that faces me. I don't know, I'm just crazy, but and sometimes I'll look at myself at night and I see myself in the mirror and it doesn't look like me. That's when it doesn't look like me at all, in the dark. And it's almost like I got chills all over my body. It's like that is when it's planning to attack. It's planning, oh, is this when I should come through and take over? Really? I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you rock my world and the song lyrics, Michael Jackson, hashtag team, birdie44, hashtag Bobrithofans, hey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.